Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C78, Standard Test Method for Flexural Strength of Concrete Using Simple Beam with Third Point Loading. This video demonstrates a molded 6 by 6 inch beam being broken to determine its flexural strength. Remove the specimen from moist storage and keep it moist. Turn the beam so that the original top portion of the beam in the mold is now on its side. Mark the beam to help with centering in the machine. One way of doing this is locating the middle of the beam and marking it. From the middle, measure 3 inches on either side and make another mark. Next, measure 6 inches from both of those marks to make the last mark. For this beam, the span length is 18 inches. Load the beam into the machine and use the marks made to center it on the support blocks. Apply approximately 3 to 6 percent of the estimated maximum load to the beam. Check for gaps between the specimen and the blocks. If there are no gaps less than 0.004 inches, then no adjustments need to be made. If the gap is between 0.004 inches and 0.015 inches, then you must cap, grind, or shim the beam. If a gap is greater than 0.015 inches, it must be corrected by capping or grinding the beam. Check for gaps greater than 0.004 inches over a length of at least 1 inch. Check this for all blocks. In this example, there is a gap greater than 0.004 inches over a length of 1 inch. Next, check for gaps greater than 0.015 inches. Check this for all blocks. There are none, which means that we can cap, grind, or shim this beam. Shims should have a thickness of 0.25 inches, a width of 1 to 2 inches, and should extend the full width of the beam. Insert the leather shims between the specimen and the blocks. Load the beam at a constant rate of 125 to 175 psi per minute until rupture occurs. Record the maximum load. Remove the beam. For this beam, the fracture occurred in the middle third of the tension face. The tension face is the bottom of the beam as loaded in the machine. Choose one of the beam pieces and measure the width and depth. To measure, turn the beam so that the tension face is facing upward or downward. Record three width measurements by taking a measurement on each edge and one in the middle as shown. Then, record three depth measurements by taking a measurement on each edge and one in the middle as shown. Record each reading to the nearest 0.05 inches. Calculate the modulus of rupture based on the location of the fracture on the tension face. If the fracture occurred outside the middle third by more than 5%, discard the test results. Report the modulus of rupture to the nearest 5 PSI. 
please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.